Okay, so problem number four. I, th I think this might be the hardest problem on your test uh, because there's no um, one process you can always use to, to, to get these problems because you've got to read the problem statement and decipher what it's giving you and what it's asking for. And uh, there are some tricks, but, you know, it's not just going to give it to you on a silver platter. You're going to have to work to find, you know, the specific volume or, or, or some things like that. Uh, so... Uh, here's one example, but uh, it, could, it could be different. Uh, look at some of the other problems, but you know, in general, it's not going to be something that we've done before or exactly seen before. Uh, so you've got to use everything you know about property tables, everything you know about, um, and, and generally a lot of times it's specific volume that's the tricky part um, to, to solve the, the problem, okay? All right, so here's an example. We've got a piston cylinder device that contains a mixture of 0.05 meters cubed of saturated liquid water and 0.8 of saturated water vapor in equilibrium at 600 kPa. So it's a mixture. It's a saturated liquid vapor mixture with some saturated liquid water, some saturated vapor um, at a pressure of 600 kPa. All right, then heat is transferred at a constant pressure until the temperature reaches 200 degrees C. And then, you know, A, B, C, D. All right, so what is the initial temperature of the mixture? Well, well, it, it is a mixture. Uh, it is at 600 kPa. I, I, the temperature is the T-sat. Uh, so table A5, uh, uh, 600 kPa, the temperature, let's go to our property tables. I am in SI units. So let me go to the SI property tables. Table A4 is organized by temperature. A5 is organized by pressure. The pressure is 600 kPa. 600 kPa. So everything right here. Uh, the temperature, whether it is all saturated liquid or all saturated vapor or a mixture, which this one is, it's 158.83 degrees C. So let's go back here. 158.83 degrees C. Please box in your answers. Make sure I can see your answers. And I know that your final answer for part A is that uh, temperature. All right, determine the initial specific enthalpy of water. I I'm trying to find lowercase h. Okay, maybe this isn't too bad uh, because I can get h from the property tables. Right, I go back to those property tables. Here's enthalpy. This is specific enthalpy because of the units, like lowercase. Um, well, the HF is 670, the HG. It's going to be in between those. You know, do I have a formula to calculate? A? Yeah, the H would be the HF plus XHFG. So I would take uh, 670 plus X times 2085. Um, but I don't know H. Do they give me H? Do they give me quality? Not exactly. And it's not going to be as easy as it might look. They told me the volume of the liquid, volume of liquid, and the volume of vapor. Uh, can I get the quality from that? Quality is mass of vapor over mass total. Mass of vapor over mass total. Uh, it is not volume of vapor over volume total. Don't tell me 0.8 over 0.85. Uh, that is not the quality. Hmm. All right. If they give me volumes, but I really want masses... Right, they gave me the volume of the liquid, but I really want the mass of the liquid. They gave me the volume of the vapor. I really want the mass of the vapor. How, in a roundabout way, could you maybe get the mass, if you're given the volume, specific volume? All right, specific volume. So here, I'm, I'm working on at, at A. Specific volume. Do I know the specific volume of this saturated liquid at 600 kPa? Yeah, 600 kPa, the saturated liquid, 
what would be its specific volume? The F at 600, right? So 600, go, it's saturated liquid. Uh, pretend like this is a, a chart. Pretend like this is a chart. It is saturated liquid. Um, it is 600 kPa. Uh, what is the V? What is the V? Well, it's the VF, V subscript F. So go back to that uh, property table for 600 kPa. VF is 0 0.001101 meters cubed per kilogram. All right, so how about I take that and the volume and figure out the mass, right? How that and the volume, uh, let's see, little v equals m big V. So, no, 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 sorry, no, no sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, uh, lots of ways you, you could write this. Um, v equals big V over m is, is kind of how I do it. So if I'm looking for m big V over little v. All right, so I'm looking for m. This is just the saturated liquid portion of it. This is just the saturated... I'm just going to count the mass of the saturated liquid, um, and I'm just going to use the volume of the saturated liquid. So right now, I'm just looking at the saturated liquid portion of it. It's volume 0 0.05 meters cubed, and I'm going to divide it by 0 0.001101 meters cubed per kilogram. Look at the units here. Isn't that cool? It, kilogram is in the denominator, in the denominator, so it really is in the numerator. I would get... 45.0 or 45.4 kilograms that's the mass of the liquid at the beginning okay how about the mass of the vapor well if i'm at 600 kpa and i'm a saturated vapor then it's a specific volume vg if i go back and look at the property table let's let's look at it uh, that's VF. There's VG. 0.3156 is the saturated vapor specific volume. 0 0.3156. 0 0.3156 meters cubed per kilogram. All right, so to get the mass, just the saturated vapor portion of it, and again, it's still I'm at state one. This is all initial. <coughs> it's volume 0.8 meters cubed. Uh, divided by 0.3156 meters cubed per kilogram. You can see how units really show out here, help us out here. Um, I would get a mass of 2.53 kilograms. Okay. So being the, you know, hard-headed, you know, book that, that it tell, doesn't tell us the mass of the saturated liquid vapor and the mass of the saturated water vapor, it tells us the volume, uh, but from the volume and the specific volume, I got the mass of the liquid. From the volume and the specific volume, I got the mass of the vapor. Now, if it had told us, hey, it's got it's a mixture, 45.4 uh, kilograms of it is saturated liquid, 2.53 kilograms is saturated vapor, what is the quality? Quality would be mass, vapor, over mass total, so 2.53 over uh, 47.93. I just added the mass of both of those. I would get a quality of 0.053 right there. Okay, quality of 0.053. Now, let me answer the question. Determine the initial, well, uh, well I actually just answered total mass of the water, 47.93 kilograms. 47.93 kilograms. Uh, determine the initial specific enthalpy of the water, lowercase h. Now that I have the quality, I can find h is hf plus x hfg. So I'm still at a, pr a pressure of 600 kPa. Go to that property table for 600 kPa. The h is 670.38 plus a quality... Uh, times HFG 2085.3, I would get an H 780.9 kilojoules per kilogram. 
you can box set as long as you're very clear you can leave that right here or if you want to bring it up here h is 780.9 i need units you need units on your answers okay that was just all kind of initial that was all kind of initial now i need to go to state two state two what do i know about it at state two until the temperature reaches 200 degrees c Okay, now um, this is a piston cylinder device, so so it, so it actually tells me at a constant pressure. I don't think I had to tell you constant pressure, because a piston cylinder device is a cylinder that has a weight on top of it, and if this weight is the same weight, if this weight stays the same, then you you add heat to it, and that weight goes up, uh, but it's still the same weight. It is still the same pressure. Generally, unless there's a shaft, unless there's, unless there's something on top of the piston cylinder, um, on top of the piston, then this is generally assumed to be a constant pressure process. So sometimes it'll say a weighted piston cylinder. A weighted piston cylinder means constant pressure. But I, I, this problem, I tell, told you again, just to reiterate, just to remind you, it's a constant pressure process. So for state two, the temperature is 200. The pressure is still six, what was it? 600 kPa. This is just like a, a fill in the blank property table. Uh, with these two values, with these two values, is it still a mixture? Is it superheated? Is it not? Let's see. Uh, let's go to table. I could go to table four, table A4 or A5, and then it would point me to the right table. I like to go to table A5, 600 kPa. And actually, I was already there. I was already there. 600 kPa, my TSAT was 158.8. If I'm at 200 degrees C, then this is superheated. So I would start at A4 four or a five but it would lead me to table a six let me go to table a six 200 degrees c 600 kpa may have to interpolate but maybe not maybe we're lucky here a six for um 600 kpa let me do this right. i've done i've done this incorrectly in some of these videos also uh would be this one right here 0. 0.6 mpa correct hey there's that that TSAT that I'm remembering. Um, temperature of 200. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. So what, what am I even looking for? What am I even looking for? I want to calculate the final volume. I can't get volume from this chart, but what can I get? Specific volume. That's probably what I need. How about I take the specific volume and, and what? it still has the same mass. There's no mass entering or leaving. It still has a mass of 47.93. So the specific volume of 0.35212 and the mass of 47.93. All right, so uh, V would be 0.35212 meters cubed per kilogram. And the mass is still 47.93 kilograms. If I didn't have the formula, um, looking at the units would tell me if I'm this meters cubed per kilograms, I can multiply it times 47.93 kilograms, right? The, the formula, the big V is M little v. Big volume would be 0 0.35212 meters cubed per kilogram times 47.93 kilograms, 16.88 meters cubed. 16.88 meters cubed. Let me go back. <clears throat> All right, now box in. Make perfectly clear to me what your final answer is for each of these. Uh, it, you know, it started only at a volume of um, point. 85 meters cubed um, pumping up that heat so much that first of all it's staying at a temperature of 158 um, while it is 
increasing in volume, increasing in volume, increasing in volume as it's going from a mixture mostly of water to more and more and more and more and more vapor. And then once it all becomes vapor at 158, you still have to heat it even more to get from 158 to 200. There's a lot of heat going on here. It, just to get it to 200, there's a lot of volume change because now it's all gas. It's all vapor. Um, all 47 kilograms of it is now vapor at this specific volume to get the total volume. All right, that was just a example. All right, be be ready for anything, but I will say that kind of the the one hang up that I always that kind of stumps me sometimes if I don't know or maybe it's not really telling me the information that I really need, maybe specific volume. Um, because once you find that qual finding that quality is is pretty helpful and important. Because once you find the quality, then you can find the enthalpy. You can find anything else that, that we want um and so taking those volumes changing them to um masses and then taking those masses to find the quality using the quality to find the enthalpy and then sometimes sometimes it's unclear to me what all i know at state two sometimes it only tells me the temperature at state two but did it tell me something else did it tell me oh it was at a constant pressure like this one. So I knew the temperature and it was still at 600 kPa. Or a lot of these problems, sometimes these problems, it's a rigid tank. So if it's a rigid tank, then I know the volume. If it's a closed rigid tank, then the specific volume is the same state one and state two. All right? So sometimes there's there's something I've even have given problems that is isentropic. Maybe the entropy at state one is the same as the entropy at state two. Maybe it's iso uh, thermal, isobaric, uh, something you should you should know probably two pieces of information at state two, so that you can find everything else. But sometimes that second piece of information at state two isn't given to you um, so clearly. You have to work for it. You have to figure it out. What's that other piece of information at state two that I need that, that it didn't really tell me explicitly, but I could figure it out so that I can find everything else, all right? It's a tough one, it's a tough one, but I have high hopes for y'all doing this, all right?